Hello and welcome to more World War II 172 scale. Uh, looking at an unusual model for uh, the time. This is a V2 rocket by the Germans. The V2 or Vengeance 2. This was the, the much larger one that was sort of like the first intercontinental uh, missile that they got operational, I believe, in September of 1944. These were used against London, and I believe also the, the port of Antwerp. Uh, very delicate model. This was uh, actually, I think, the old Ravel, so it's actually closer, I think, 167, but close enough for the scale to have it set this up on a diorama, or could have it on the board as an objective in wargaming. Very delicate. Parts of it is broken off. I've, I've done this one a very long time ago. I'm first getting back into modeling. Harder uh, than my age. Uh, it does move a bit. It has some moving parts. Yeah. We can take the rocket off. Look at that in a second. You can see the more of the trailer. And there was all special vehicles that they had. They had to mix the, the different chemicals and the fuels for the rocket and then set it up. They had a lot of failures until they got it operational. The famous uh, Werner von Braun was the head of Pinamunda where they were coming up with this. Later it was captured in Operation Paperclip, 1945, taken to America along with a lot of other uh, scientists and then uh, worked for America during the Cold War and then went into the space and uh, responsible for the Saturn V rocket, the, uh, the launch system that got manned to the moon later on. And controversy about uh, Americans using uh, former Nazis. Uh, basic three color camouflage. I've seen them in different ways. I don't know if this one is that great, but as I said, this was an early try at a model. And I think they have this as more expensive kit in the true 172 scale. I don't know if they sell it pre-made or not. That would be nice if you could get that set up. But this is cool. I did another video earlier. I can put a link to that to uh, the V1. Uh, I have two different models yet to build of the launch site. For those, they'd, they'd take off this way and used a pulse jet and were much smaller. So that's the, the famous V-2 rocket and its trailer. A lot of fiddly bits on that. Some moving parts, so forth. Until next time, more World War II 172 scale. Thanks for liking and subscribing.